it would really suck if you wrote a song and then somebody stole the song and made it their own song and came out with it and made it a hit and you didn't make it a hit, but then they don't say that they stole it from you. And it's even worse when that band is Nickelback. <laughs> oh God. Oh, kill me now. So, oh. so Nickelback steals your song. They're going to court now because this band named Snowblind Revival is mm-hmm. suing them over the song Rockstar. Wow. And if you don't remember Rockstar. Through a standing in line, the clubs will never get in. It's like the bottom of the ninth, and I'm never going to win this. So, Life hasn't done the song was huge when it came out. Yeah. It was huge because it was so crossover. I mean, I played this on three different formats that I worked on. Yeah. Bathroom, I, I played this on Hot AC. I played this on Alt. And I, and I played this on Rock. I remember when we had a... Uh, a school coming through one radio station I was working at. And it was a bunch of, like, third graders. And this song was on the air, and they all went nuts. And they all were singing it. Yeah. And I just think it's funny, because they talk about Playboy Mansion and drugs and all that. <laughs> Kids, they can relate. <laughs> Someday they will. And they have everybody in this video. Gene Simmons to Kid Rock to, yeah. you know. So that's the that's their version. The song that they ripped off is called Rockstar. Oh god. The <laughs> exact title. <laughs> Except his rock star is Rock Star. Nickelback's is Rock Star. One word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's some bullshit right there. So here's this guy's version. Let's see if it sounds anything like it, or does he have a shot in hell? I'm gonna be a rock star someday. I'm gonna ride the tour bus because I don't like jet plane. Gonna make lots of money, live life in the fast lane. I'm gonna be a rock star someday. A little huh. bit. I'm be a rock star. A little cliche. Someday. It's cliche and it's the same. Four chords. I'm going well, you've said this before that there's only like six chords in music, <laughs> and these are the chords gonna everybody make knows. My family proud. I'm gonna stand up tall. I'm gonna sing aloud. I'm it's gonna close. be a rock star someday. Yeah, I think he. Yeah. In this life of fortune and fame, I'd even cut my hair and change my name. Cause we all. I think they heard the song mm. somewhere. You can see the influence. It doesn't sound like they actually stole the song. It's not the exact same song. It, it feels like it feels like they influenced, but this is no different than Ed Sheeran stealing Scrubs No Scrubs for Shape of You. Mm-hmm. Which he now has to pay them hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, they, they partake in that song now anytime it comes out, anytime it gets played. Will Nickelback have to give this guy a buck 76? And nobody's playing Rockstar anymore, so it might but be that's what I, mean. I don't understand why it takes so long for these lawsuits to happen. This song is. This song is old. It's on the shelf. We've forgotten about it. And now there's a lawsuit? That's weird. Why now? You, where were you when this song was a hit? I think the guy was driving around listening to a hot AC station and went, holy shit, it's my song. Dude, this has been out for 20 years. No, no, I did it 22 years ago. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that either. This song came out in 2000. Uh, sorry. Not this song. I don't, I don't, think, I don't right. know anything about this song, but the Nickelback song came out in 2005. Let's do the math. Okay. So, 2020, 20, I'm going to do... Add 15. No, no. Uh, 2005? It, yeah, 2005. So, add 15. Now you've no, got... No, no, no. We have, we have to do... See, we, when you start, when you look at it from the get-go, it's confusing because you can't take the one out of the five. So, you have to make the one an 11. So then, what? yeah, you make the one out of 11 and then you what? take the two and make that a one. So that's what we do. What is that? I don't even. St- okay. What I do is I go by fives. 
So it's 2005. Add 15 to that. You got 2020. Then add one year. There you go. 16. No, you make the one on 11. So then you do the 11 minus the five. So that's the hard one. So what's the 11 minus the five? That's a six. Okay. So then we did the, (laughs) we turned the one, the two into a one. So that's 16. Do, Do you see how quickly I did mine and you are still doing math? I was like, 2005, add 15, and then you get 2020, and now add one. Count up from there. There we go. 16 years. But mine is I got more it in like two seconds. Because no, I took no, the it, one and made it an 11, but then I had to take the two. That doesn't, you, can't, you can't make a one and 11. Just <laughs> It's 2005. <laughs> add 16 years, and it's 2021. It's not that hard. Showing my work. That's what I'm doing. You, that doesn't make any sense. I, you didn't need to do that at all. <laughs> Anyway, my point is a song that came out in 2005. Is there a statute of limitations on this stuff? Yeah, it's been, we figured out 16 years. So yes, uh, I think 15 years is the the cutoff. But I I don't know where this guy has been this whole time is my point. You know, somebody pulled this with Ed Sheeran with Photograph, where it was a song they'd written like 20 years ago and they heard Photograph and Photograph at that point was like, six or seven years old but it's like wh- where have you been where, where have you been how do you not know that nickelback had a song D- did somebody just say to this guy you know i know you've been in a coma for 15 years mm-hmm. now that you've woken up from your coma first of all there's something called covid we'll discuss it in a second <laughs> it's but gonna first blow your all, mind <laughs> yeah for, that, that's that's important put a pin in that because we really have to discuss this band called Nickelback that nobody knows about or cares about anymore. But in 2005, they were huge well, and they stole your song, dude. I think that they took it to court in 2006 and the uh-huh. courts are so backed up that every time <laughs> that came up on, on the schedule, they went, uh, somebody uh, s- suing Nickelback. I'll push that up. Uh, to next November. And it always yeah. goes to next November. So there's finally, so many people suing Ed Sheeran right now. We got to get through all the Ed Sheeran. No, there's we get so to much crap going on in, in the courts. <laughs> you know, the, the Kanye's getting divorced. And all of this is right. going on <laughs> at the court. And every time Nickelback rock star comes up, they can, uh, push that to July. Push that to July because there's no money there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and then, then they got to 2021 and they said, who? And they said Nickelback. It's like, doesn't everybody hate them? Okay, put that on the list. Yeah. We can get to it now. So it, it, we could be blaming this poor guy, and he could just be going to court every year, and they just keep pushing it back because Nickelback never shows up. So it's <laughs> this guy and his lawyer, and uh, the, Nickelback's on here. Okay, we'll push it to next year. Probably because after Nickelback came out and got all that hate, mm. they went into witness protection. So that's where they've been all this time. Well, he married what's her face, the Avril skater Levine. girl. There's a lot of things going on. I know, but but he probably doesn't want to admit. Chad Kroger's probably like, I'm in I'm in Canada hiding. Mm-hmm. You know, well, in they haven't protection. wrote a damn thing since 2005. Well, that's my point. They haven't wrote that's, one yeah. song. Name one song since Rockstar. You can't. I didn't even know Rockstar until you played it. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that song. <laughs> <laughs> photograph is the only one I keep thinking of. Like you say Nickelback, I go photograph. And that's the only thing. I and know. that was like a, the 90s or something. And then yeah. if we figure out that year, then I'm going to have to do that math. And <laughs> <laughs> stop with math for now.